What is going on guys, it's Ramada, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that Pack-A-Punch guide for you guys, because I'm pretty sure that Beast and Beyond is going to get a little dull without that Pack-A-Punch, and we don't actually got a lot of tutorials for this map, at least now. The Easter eggs have been solved, and I don't think there's a lot of tutorials, so I think this actually might be my final one, or maybe I'll do the Easter egg guide and that will be it but this is the pack a punch for beast and beyond i don't want to wait anymore i i'm, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to wait anymore but let's actually get started to obtain pack a punch we're going to need three bridge pieces because if you guys didn't know the bridge is broken and we're looking for three pieces to replace it the first piece can actually be found in this area right here a mere blue bolt right here hold square to pick up this piece of metal right here and like i said we do need three once you do pick this piece up there are going to be three cryptics that are going to spawn now this shouldn't take long um it might be a little dangerous because you know they're cryptics and there's three of them and if you guys actually didn't know about this you might die so i'm just telling you now there are three cryptics when you pick up each and every piece from this part all right, now we're going to need to get the next piece for the pack a punch. The next piece can be found over here in this big open area right here. So we just want to jump down and go near these crate areas where there's just a lot of crates, and you'll see another piece of metal right over here. Hold square to pick it up, and then three cryptics. You already know what to do with that. I almost died in this one, actually. I think I almost died. I don't know. But there is three cryptics, like I'm saying. Yeah, that's our second piece. And not too far from there. There, when you go back up there will be this button right here you want to press it and it will go green what this button just did is open that door across from us and it will just summon this turret thingy then that turret thing is going to shoot this door and actually make a portal that you can access through and it's pretty simple I'm pretty sure you guys can multitask while doing this but make your way to the other side of the door and hop inside that portal I'm showing you in the gameplay, I'm trading some zombies here so I can get enough points because you're going to need enough points for this next bit. Once you enter the portal, you will actually enter this very, very interesting room. This is the room started in, in Zombies in Spaceland in the intro cutscene. I know it's super interesting, but we're just going to have to keep going through here. Follow my footsteps and you guys should be pretty fine. Again, this room is so interesting, and then you'll make it to the outside, which kind of looks like Shaolin Shuffle, but it's all so interesting, but you're gonna have to focus with me. Now you have made it to the front of the movie theater, where it says, close permanently, like in the intro cutscene, and you're gonna make it right here to this car, and on the top will be the third metal piece for the bridge. You're gonna hold square on that and again three cryptics will spawn you're gonna kill those and boom you basically have all three pieces for pack a punch now you can head back through this portal right here which will just take you to this tunnel area and then you're gonna have to buy a door which will take you out of this area now all you guys have to do is make it to this area like we saw in the first scene of the trailer of Beast and Beyond and get 2,000 points. It shouldn't take you very long, but just get two grand and then buy this door which will actually lead outside to the snowy blizzard area of the map outside the facility. And then just make your way to this metal broken bridge hold square on it and your character will do a cheeky animation and then you could just walk over it and voila you just got pack a punch the pack a punch is actually the portal right there there's a giant portal which kind of looks cool in the outside area of the map be careful because once you actually go inside sometimes there's like a blue alien that can teleport so make sure when you go inside you have enough money to pack a punch and then go out and kill that blue alien but I'll actually be showing you the pack a bunch and how it looks like. As you can see, the pack a bunch area is normal. You only get to stay there for a few seconds. And boom, that's the pack a bunch. It kind of looks like blood flow or some gore thing. I don't know. As of now, we don't know the double pack a punch. But if we do find out, I will be letting you guys know in a video. But yeah, this is actually the whole video that's pack a punch. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe because it lets me know you guys enjoy this type of content. And um, I actually don't know what to say. Also, make sure you guys go down in the description to see all my social medias like Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and all that shenanigans. Make sure you guys subscribe for more Beast and Beyond guides. But yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.